everybody, my name is Tanya and welcome to my March wrap up. So March was a funny month of reading for me. A fairly restrained TBR for me, although it did include Middle March. Um, and that was okay. Then I got derailed by Rita Rama and decided at the last minute to join in on the Rita Rama Anthem. I read a bunch of stuff during that week. And then after that, everything has been going really, really slowly for me. And I think I really read myself out during that week. So I got a lot of reading done towards the start of the month. And then I kind of tapered off from there. And I read some really fantastic things. But it just seemed to take me a really long time to finish anything. So the first books that I've got to show you here, I'm not going to say too much about. Because I already wrapped them up in my Read Around Wrap Up. Which I will link down below. So I'm not going to repeat what I said in there. But the things that I finished during that week were. My Agatha Christie for the month, N or N. My first school book for the month, Guitar How Rose by Bridget Lowry. My book you recommend speak for the month, The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. And this one, there will be an individual video coming about this soon when I get around to filming it. The Strange Library by Haruka Murakami. And lastly, Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. So as I said, I spoke about all of those ones in my Reader Armor wrap up, which I will link down below. So moving on to the stuff that I haven't talked about yet. Also during the Reader Armor week, I finished the audiobook of Americana by Tim Amanda de Grosia Dici. I had started this in February, but hadn't quite finished. You've heard a lot about this one already, but I really did enjoy it. And I would highly recommend the audiobook. I think the narrator did a fantastic job. This is primarily the story of Ifemelo and her childhood in Nigeria, and then her moving to study in America. And what happens when she leaves childhood sweetheart Abinze behind. Several years ago now I read Have a Yellow Sun and disgracefully enough a lot of the detail is gone for that one. But I do remember really really enjoying it. Americana I think I enjoyed even more. And as I said I would highly highly recommend the audiobook. Uh, it was narrated by Joa Ando and she's fantastic. The next book I completed for the month was another audiobook and I absolutely loved it. And that's another one that's highly popular on booktube lately so we'll have heard a lot about it already but that was The Martian by Andy Weir. So as you likely already know this is the story of Mark Watney, an astronaut who is left behind and thought dead on a manned mission to Mars but of course he's not dead and now he's been left there with no real way of survival. Always hearing the descriptions from people they're saying this book is fantastic it's so funny and you think with that premise how how is it funny but Mark Watney is just he's 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 so funny there's such humor in this it made me laugh out loud so many times it was just so good reading the description of this one it was just a, an entire you know punch in the stomach before you've even started this man just putting yourself in that position imagining knowing that your crew has abandoned you on mars not through their own fault they think you're dead but you're not actually dead how you've got nowhere to communicate with earth just how and it quickly, as I said, becomes very humorous. It's it's not that depressing kind of subject matter that it seems to be. Yes, he's in this dire situation and, and it's very much him dealing with the realities of the fact that he is stranded alone on Mars and, and just constantly the elements are battling against him in his fight for survival. But it's so much fun and, it, and it, there's so much humor in it and it doesn't seem like it should be. But it really is, and it was just an absolute pleasure read. Now the audiobook in particular I think was fantastic. The narrator did a fantastic job of capturing that humour in Mark. Also there's a lot of technical explanation in this one, so if you think you'll have trouble reading about sciencey stuff, an in-depth look into how Mark Watney is going to go about trying to survive on Mars, then I think the audiobook might be a good way to go because it makes that friendlier to absorb the information. So this is everywhere at the moment. I'm really jumping on the bandwagon and it, it really is so worth the hype. This is one that's going to be a favourite for a long time and I'm definitely going to revisit again. The next book I completed in March was my second school book for the month and that is A Bridge to Wiseman's Cove by James Maloney. This is the second of my year nine school books and I'm not going to talk about this too much because there will be a wrap up of this at some point. I'm getting very very behind on my school book videos. I have read all the books in the months so far but I've only posted the one video and I know that was a long one and I apologize for that I didn't intend it to be so long that's my video on the way the gingerbread house that I put up last week I think I didn't intend it for being so long but what actually happened is I came across my school assignments and so the whole second half of that video is me going through my year 7 assignment on the way the gingerbread house and 
poking fun at it. So I still don't really expect you to watch 12 minutes of me talking about an obscure, not that great Australian children's book, but hopefully the second half is worth a laugh when I start going through my assignment. This is a story of Karl Matt and his younger brother who are abandoned by both their mother and then older sister and are forced to go live with an aunt in Waddle Beach. It's one that I didn't enjoy so much in school, but I think I appreciate it a little bit more now, but more of my thoughts will be coming soon. And then the final book that I completed for the month is something that seemed to take me so long to finish. It's something that's so fast paced and so engaging and yet it still took me ages to get through. And that is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Mistborn series. I'm obviously not going to talk too much about the plot about this one because it's the second book in the series and you've been hearing about it everywhere. It's the Year of Cosme book of the month. And I, the ending, bleh, I, holy crap. There's a couple of things that I'm not quite sure that I'm so pleased about, but I trust Brandon Sanderson. It'll be interesting to see how that kind of comes into play in the next book. And I, I'm definitely looking forward to picking up the next book uh, for Give Cosme next month, the last book in the series, and see how this all ties up. It's just such an epic, wonderful fantasy series. And I still think that the magic system in this one is just brilliant. So I'm so glad I finally get around to reading some Brandon Sanderson. Obviously, this is the year of it with the uh, year of Cosme happening. A lot of people are feeling the same way. You've seen this everywhere. You're probably getting sick of it. But it's another one that's definitely worth the hype. And I'm definitely looking forward to finding out what happens next. So with that being the last book that I completed for the month, you will have realized that I didn't actually finish Middle March this month. I started off well, I read the first couple of books in the first week, then this got completely put on hold for Readorama and I didn't read a page the next week of the month and then I barely read anything the next week again, I just wasn't being able to pick it up and as I said I think I kind of read myself out during the Readorama and I wasn't concentrating on anything and this is not the easiest book to read when you're not concentrating on anything. I found too it was hard to bring it to work to read during my lunch hours because there was other noise going on around me and I couldn't concentrate properly and then the times I was getting to read was late at night when I'd finally gone to bed and again I was too tired and my mental capacity wasn't being able to focus on this properly. So what I've actually done is switched from the physical copy and now I'm listening to the audiobook narrated by Juliet Stevenson and it's going so much smoother now. I'm really really enjoying listening to it. So I got to 67% through this which wasn't finishing in the month but I'm pretty happy with that. This was the book that I was buddy reading with Erica from Erica Ray Abel and also Heather from Logical Betty is reading it and none of it's finished and that's fine. It will carry on into next month and I'm definitely really enjoying it and looking forward to getting to the end of it and finding out where this all goes but it just didn't happen quite in March. These are the books that I was able to complete in the month of the March plus Americana by Tim Mann and Gozi Adichie. I read some really great things this month. The Martian I think is my standout but well Essential was fantastic and The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay was wonderful. So if you've read any of these ones let me know what you thought of them or if you've got any questions and as always thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!